Hello everyone, I hope you're doing okay. This is gonna be a quick demonstration of how Cut the Pieces works. This is the utility that I run for Cut the Pieces. Notably, we're taking the extra critical chance and we're taking critical conditions. What these do is these increase our critical chances whenever we use our damaging or overtime abilities. This is important because we combine this with, for one, our champion's position, which is gonna give us an extra 20% crit chance every time we use our burning focus. And every time that a dot ticks, it's going to reduce the cooldown of Vigilant Thrust. So in the perfect world, what's gonna happen here is we're going to apply three of our dots using Overhead Slash, Burning Plasma, and Blade Storm, and then we're going to Vigilant Thrust our way to 40 billion damage. Now 40 billion is perhaps a bit of an overstep, but I also might not be, because what ends up happening is that you end up dot spreading to a bunch of targets, and then the dots that spread will spread back to the original target and then back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So with any luck here, we're gonna run in and do 40,000 damage per second. We will see how it goes. This is happening live, so this may very well go very poorly for us. So looking at the targets here, we're probably just gonna hop on their Swerk first. That's gonna pull in their Assassin and their Juggernaut. What we're trying to do is we're trying to force all their players to stack on the same target and then just smash, 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 smash to victory. Especially when we're going on a Jug, especially a healer, I'm sorry, a sorker, a sorcerer that's a healer. It's a bit of a squishy target for us, and they're going to rush to their defense, and then hopefully we will just murder them. So let's jump right in, jumping in, building all of our focus. We're going to burn a DCD first. We're going to make them come to us. This is actually okay. We're going to let these guys do a little bit of root in action to us. This is fine. All right, and now we have applied our dots, and now we cut the pieces, cut the pieces, apply dots, and then cut the pieces. And now he's almost dead. We're not going to break this just yet. Uh, he's dead already. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna reflect this. This is fine. We'll spend our ED into this. This guy's dead as well. This is unfortunately kind of a not a great example of cut the pieces because they're just not living long enough. Uh, so let's see if we can get the next round to have a little bit more cut the pieces action for us. But you can see here the cooldown of vigilant thrust is just getting reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced and reduced. Reduce. Additionally, every time that we use our burning focus, it causes all the dots in the area to tick, which is uh, very very nice for us, uh, and it's going to heal us for two percent of every dot that critically damage or uh, that forces it to critically tick. So it is uh, just self heals on self heals on self heals on damage on damage on damage. So if you see here, we'll jump in. This guy's popping all his cooldowns. Good for him. There's all of our stuff gone. We're gonna spend a critical focus, gonna force this stuff to tick. I know we're tunneling into reflect here, but I personally don't care. Uh, that sounds like a him problem, not a me problem. Dot, 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 dot. Now this does do still pretty considerable single target damage, just cause Jug does a bullet damage, or in this case, Guardian does a bullet of damage. But even still, without all everyone stacking on top of each other, we still did 13K damage. That's the ridiculousness that happens when you can spam 25k damage per person over and over and over again, even for just a few seconds, because it's going to do oogles and boogles of damage. So let's run back in, see if we can get these guys to stack a little bit longer, and hopefully they live, which is kind of a weird thing to say. In fact, to counteract this, let's jump on the Merc instead, because that way the healer will live for a little bit longer, and then we can pump more damage. That's right, we're gonna have straight up number horror in exchange for uh, risking our team's health. So that's gonna be fun. All right, Mr. Bubbles Powerpuff, I'm counting on you to live for a little while longer, right? You demonstrated your ability to pop all your defensive cooldowns. Okay, this is fine, we're rooted. We're gonna use our root break here with our uh, with our critical focus. I know it's not a perfect world, uh, but it is what it is. These guys are not stacking on top of us, which is really a, a darn crying shame right here. That's fine, we'll start to get this ticking, start to get this ticking. All right, here they all are, here they all are. Everyone's on top of us. All right, now we dot spread. And now you can see here our uh, reduction or our CDR is taking place, dot spread, dots are taking place, slam, and then slam, and then slam, and then slam. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we call turbo damage because we are just oogles and boogles of vigilant thrust and then vigilant thrust. If you ever have a GCD where you're not seeing people or you have uh, one GCD where your vigilant thrust isn't available yet, just go ahead and start reapplying those dots again because you want to be making sure that your dots are taking at all times. And by having that one brief GCD of people like, hey, uh, or having that one GCD between Vigilant Thrust, you can always be reapplying your most prevalent dots. Most importantly, it's gonna be your Plasma Brand. If you can get that off first, then it's gonna be your Overhead Slash and then your Blade Storm in terms of priority. But that's how you end up doing like 17K damage in a single round because it's frankly very, very strong right now.
We also had the bonus of having a, a, a tank and a healer, um, but frankly, this team wasn't winning this game. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of what Cut to Pieces is and how you can be taking advantage of it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll do a full guide and Cut to Pieces eventually. I just don't have time to put a full guide together right now because Duke has been back and forth out of the vet and it's been kind of nutty. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you, I don't know, whenever I see you. Bye-bye.